what's going on everybody welcome to the show i know it's been a minute since i dropped the video um but this is your boy the conservative wolf i hope you guys have been well i hope life has been treating you good hope your new year has been great so far as you see i'm about to look like a, a wolf a conservative wolf for real <laughs> just ain't gonna grow the long ears and whatnot but um uh thank you guys and um i uh <clears throat> it's interesting um you know uh just i uh, i follow certain people on youtube and when i want to uh know what's really going on because not only because they're conservatives but because they're honest and they stick to the facts and they talk about what's really going on so you know uh i was watching um um brandon tatum uh b tatum the officer tatum if you guys don't know who brandon tatum is man i encourage you to go check him out um i'll try to remember to drop the the link to his channel in the description box, uh, him, ABL, Anthony Brian Logan, Amazing Lucas, um, Kevin's Corner, Patricia Dixon, Leo Dunson, those are, uh, great conservatives and, and black conservatives and, uh, you know, if you want to know what's really going on, man, drain the swamp, you know, but, uh, okay, so let's get into this video, um, the subject of, I was, it's interesting, you know, you're looking at Bernie Sanders and you look at this millennial generation and I'm not lumping all millennials in, into the same category. You got some millennials that have it together and a lot of them don't. I think Bernie Sanders appeals to them because millennials have, a, you know, Millennials weren't raised quite the way we were. Uh, uh, when I say we, us uh, 40-somethings and up, 40-somethings, uh, you know, uh, late 30s, 40s, and on up, you know, we were of a different generation um, where uh, we understood that work, hard work, that my friend Napoleon, uh, my brother Napoleon, always says hard work yields gain determination yields gain you put effort into something you'll get gain gains reap rewards and when you have a guy like bernie sanders and and um uh, jericho green also check out jericho green i'm sorry <laughs> my bad jericho shouts out to jericho green too man he's, he's a great guy make sure you go to his channel subscribe Get your green gear when you go to B Tatum channel. Get your get your uh, get your cool merch. Um, so back to the story. Back to the subject at hand. Uh, B Tatum was talking about Bernie Sanders, and I like what he said because <clears throat> and I listened to him, and he he went into detail explaining a lot of reasons why. Uh, you know when you listen to and he played Bernie Sanders' speech. And he talked, he broke it down, you know, and basically the lesson in life is anything that's, if, if someone comes to you, there, there's nothing in life that's free. Uh, very few, well, very few things in life that are free. If a politician comes to you offering you freebies, and you, you got to, you got to, there, there's something wrong there. Nothing's free. Um, and a lot of what I'm about to say to save talking and save time, a lot of what I'm about to say, uh, I was thinking it the whole time, but after watching Brandon Tatum's video and the way he eloquently broke down, uh, broke down this whole thing, got me uh, understanding more about, about why all this free, 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 free stuff is not going to work. Um, the main thing about the student loan debt, and this is something I've been saying, people get these student loans because they choose to. Uh, 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 
tax, hardworking taxpaying Americans should not have to pay uh, pay higher taxes for people to go to school when you can you can work hard, you can work your way through school like everybody traditionally has done. If you're working your way through school, you're gonna take going to school seriously. If people just hand you money to go to school, let me tell you something. A lot of people, and I've and I know and I've seen it, get these student loans because they know they can get the money if they sign up to go to school. You got people out here who are not even taking up classes, who are, who sign up for school just to qualify to get a student loan. They get the student loan and then they drop out of school. They get all that loan money. And then they don't half ass go to school. They flunk out of school. But you done got all this money. And like uh, B. Tatum said, man, it, it, it's a trap. And it's a trap. It's a debt trap. It's it's a money. It's a money maker. It's a money pit. You get all these student loans, and uh, it's a way for these these colleges to make money. Way for them to make money. A way for the government to make money. You know. Uh, you get these student loans and, and you, what, $40,000 student loan, $40,000 in debt, but you didn't, but did you take the money, the thing is, did you take the money and go to school? No, a lot of people get student loan money, go buy cars, bullshit the money around, uh, screw up, screw the money up, and don't have nothing to show for it. So why, why should I... Why should my taxes go up to pay for you to go to school? Why? That's your. That's your. It, look, if you don't, if you don't know whether or not you want to go to college, or if you want to go to college and you don't want to work your way through, you want a free ride. It's not a free ride. I mean, nothing's free. But you know, this whole idea of oh, you know. Uh, student loan, no more student loan debt. But and then uh, he said something interesting about, uh, and then something I didn't understand, but I understand now, thanks to B. Tatum, about the uh, nobody, uh, anybody making below twenty nine thousand uh, dollars pay taxes. Every everybody, every everybody, but well, everybody making twenty nine thousand or above going to pay more taxes. Everybody below that is going to be tax exempt, right? No no you won't have to pay taxes, right? Now $29,000 a year, right? Um then they're talking about the whole uh everybody should make the universal minimum wage thing. Everybody should make $15 an hour. And uh B. Tatum broke that thing down pretty eloquently because he was saying that how at $15 an hour, uh, if you go from minimum wage, $725, $750 to, you know, start making more money, $29,000 is actually not hard to make if you're making over, if you're making over $10 an hour. That's, that's, I mean, that's not hard, and especially if you turn around and make the minimum wage for everybody across the board, $15 an hour, everybody gets $15 an hour, right? Now, everybody's paying those higher taxes, but this, this, but nobody's listening. The people that support Bernie Sanders with that bullshit, I don't think they caught that. I don't think they're, they're resonating any understanding. See, this is what I'm talking about when I talk about uninformed voters. You have informed voters, uninformed voters, low IQ voters. The uninformed voters are the ones who don't understand politics. They don't understand policies. They don't understand how a lot of shit works, but they just vote traditional. They just vote because they just they just vote a certain way because that's that's the way they've been doing it. And and they're just they're programmed to do that, but they don't they don't understand that that kind of voting 
is the reason why you turn around and have politicians been in, in office for years, nothing's getting done, and then you have people saying, oh, well, my vote, what difference do it make? They all crooks, they get in there, they don't do nothing. Well, you know, the, the thing about that is that uh, it's, it's, as the American people, they work for us. So it's our, so if, if you keep electing people, if you keep going to the polls and you keep electing people who are doing nothing out of just, well, that's what you do, then you don't expect anything to change. It, it, we're supposed to hold these people accountable. Things would change and, and be all right if we'd hold these people accountable. These people got to come, remember something, these people depend on your votes to get the job. They won't have a job if you don't vote for them. So people need to get out this bullshit mindset. Oh, my vote don't count. Oh, your vote counts. Oh, it counts. Uh, whether you apathetic or not, it counts. And if you don't understand, my and another thing too, how does, how does this work where people say, Oh, I don't follow politics. I'm not into politics, and I don't know nothing about politics. Okay, but but you're going to vote for a politician, but you don't know anything about politics. Does that shit make sense to y'all? I mean, I, I'm, I'm, am I stupid? Maybe I'm stupid. I don't know. Maybe I'm a jackass, but that don't make